I'm excited today to show you how I transformed this Dollar Tree canvas into five amazing crafts. Hi, my name is Katie from Lady Red Crafting and let's get started by deconstructing this canvas. To deconstruct this canvas, I use a flat screwdriver and I just remove the staples and the hook from the back side. Let's jump right into craft number one. For this craft, we're going to start with part of the canvas and I'm just going to trace a circle around a piece of the gold flakes in this canvas and I just really like that there was a nice design here. And once we have our circle I'm going to grab a canning jar lid and this lid I had already painted with some gold spray paint earlier and I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm just going to Mod Podge the inside of that circle. Once we've done that, we're going to add the canvas right on top. And to help tap the canvas into place, I did use a piece of cling wrap and just tap that straight down. So I grabbed a small piece of satin ribbon. It was about 12 inches in length and I just tied a little knot at the bottom. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some hot glue to the back side of this canning jar lid and we're just going to tap down that ribbon so we have a nice hook. And for the final touches on this ornament, we're going to grab some ribbon that I had from the Dollar Tree and it's more of a burlap ribbon with a gold trim on it. And then I just make a basic bow and hot glue that to the top center of the canning jar lid. And this makes a lovely, unique ornament to hang on your tree. On to craft number two. For this craft, we're going to just use the pink section of the canvas. And I started by tracing and cutting out 22 petals that are identical. And once we have all of our petals cut out, I'm gonna set those aside for a moment and I'm gonna grab some toothpicks. And I'm gonna take these toothpicks and I'm just going to snap them in half because these petals are pretty small and we don't need a very large piece. Once we have all of our toothpicks ready, I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm just going to hot glue the toothpick onto the back side of one of the petals. And we'll take then another piece of petal and we're just going to put it over the top and sandwich that toothpick in. And we want to leave about a quarter of an inch of the sharper side of the toothpick pointing out of the petal. And once we have all of our petals assembled, I grab a little piece of wine cork. I just sliced about a quarter of an inch off of one wine cork. And I'm using this as the center of my flower. And we're going to use the toothpicks and just insert them around the outside circumference of this wine cork. Now for the finishing touches. I wanted this flower to be able to hang on a tree as an ornament. So I took some thin twine and I knotted it at the bottom. And this was about a 16 inch piece of twine. And what I'm doing here is I'm trying to figure out, well, how am I going to get this inserted into the wine cork? So I twisted a little piece of the um, knot around my toothpick here. And I'm just going to take this toothpick and I'm going to stick this into the cork. And then I'm going to remove one of the petals. Actually, I think I removed two or three of the petals and I just cut that piece of toothpick so that it's nice and flat and then I add a little bit of hot glue to make sure it doesn't move around and then I reinsert the petals. For a more rustic look you could just leave the flower as it is just like this but I wanted to add some bling. So I took some berries that I had from last Christmas and these are some gold sparkle berries and I'm just going to hot glue them in the center and I'm going to cover up that wine cork with those berries and I feel like it makes it look more like a poinsettia. I know it's not quite like a poinsettia but it just kind of gives it that Christmas look. And now this ornament is ready to go hang on our tree. Let's 
let's roll into craft number three with some watermelon fun. For this craft, I'm using some watermelon fabric that I got from the Dollar Tree in the crafter square section, but you can use any fabric that you find that would match your decor. And I'm using the frame from this canvas and we're going to just set the frame over the top of the fabric here on the back side and just cut out about an inch and a half around the frame. So now that we have the fabric trimmed up to what we would like, I'm just gonna take my iron here and just iron the fabric and make sure all the wrinkles are out of this fabric. Next, we make sure that the fabric is laying face down so we want to see the back side of the fabric and we're gonna set the frame on top of that and what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna start folding over the fabric on this frame and I'm gonna use my pink clips that I did get at the Dollar Tree and these are the larger ones and I'm just going to clip the fabric in place and then I grab a staple gun and I just go ahead and start stapling across on that top row there and we're gonna repeat that step on the next one. And you really wanna make sure the fabric is pulled tight. So you see me flipping the uh, frame over and making sure I have it pulled as tight as I can. And then we go ahead and just staple the rest as we go along. And for the ends, I fold it like I would, like I was wrapping a package. And then I flip the fabric up and I go ahead and just pull everything tight again, just with those pink clips and we restaple everything. Now that that's complete, uh, I did not get this on camera, but I really wish I would have, but I did grab out some sheer white ribbon and I'm going to make a, basically it's kind of like a memory board, I would wanna say, but it's just a small board that we can put business cards or photos on. And so I'm taking this sheer ribbon and I'm just making little X's across the front side and then wrapping them around to the back and then using the staple gun again I'm just stapling those ribbons into place and once everything is stapled in place I'm just going to trim off any of the excess ribbon and when I started trimming this ribbon I stacked it up and I'm like oh I can just make a quick bow out of it so that's what I did I just stacked up this ribbon in a little pile and I'm going to make a bow for the top of our memory board. So to attach the bow to our memory board, I use these Jot push pins from the Dollar Tree and I just put the push pin through the knot of the bow and I just push that straight into the frame. Now I'm gonna flip the frame back over and I'm gonna reattach the hook so that we can hang this on the wall. And then we flip that over and we have a beautiful little memory board. Let's move on to craft four and five. Moving back to the canvas here, we're gonna grab some Scrabble tiles and we're gonna cut some squares out of the canvas that will go over the top of these tiles. For this next step, I grab some Mod Podge and a paintable surface and I lay out the tiles and I'm going to just put a nice coat of Mod Podge over the top of the letters. Now I couldn't see the letters through the canvas, but depending on your canvas, you may want to paint the tiles first to make sure that the letters don't show through. we got our Scrabble tiles covered, I'm going to grab out some triple thick and I'm going to do a nice coat over the top of all of these tiles. Once our tiles have dried, I use a bale pendant and I ordered these on Amazon so I'll leave a link in my description box below for these. But I just adhere these with the E6000 glue and I'm using my little pink clips to hold them into place, this E6000 glue dries. And if you've worked with E6000 glue before, you know it takes a little while for it to dry. So I wouldn't put these together until the next morning if you can wait that long. Otherwise, wait at least a few hours. 
finish the first craft here, I'm going to add some jump rings and some earring hooks and make a cute pair of earrings. Let's go ahead and set those aside and we'll start on the second craft here. For this craft, I'm using some wine charms hooks and I'm just going to add those to our bale. And on one of them, I decide to just leave it plain by itself. And on the other tile here, I'm just going to add a few beads to the ring. This will give our charm a different look so we can tell our charms apart. And now these charms are ready to attach to your glass. Now a quick little bonus craft. Earrings and charms aren't your thing. You can take these same tiles and you can just hot glue a small magnet onto the back side of these tiles. I got this package of magnets from Dollar Tree and I believe it's 12 magnets for $1.25. Thank you guys for watching today. Let me know what you think is the best craft out of this group. I had so much fun taking this one sign and making five different crafts and that bonus craft there. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Remember, craft more, stress less.